This is Twit. What, what is sway and when would I reach for it? What problem am I solving? Well, um, Sway is a power user tool. So it's designed um, for users of the old uh, X11 window manager i3, which is called a, a sort of tiling window manager. So on window managers that you might be used to, your windows are what we call stacking. So any window that shows up could be moved freely and stacked above any other windows and so on. And you sort of manually manage where your windows are placed on screen. But with mm -hmm. a window manager like Sway, it does that for you. So if you open a window, um, it just takes up the full screen. And if you open another window, it halves it and then splits it in two. And so you can use that to um, use your screen real estate more efficiently and also to drive it with a keyboard. So how did this project get started? Well, um, I was an i3 user for a long time, and I wanted to play with Wayland. And kind of my shtick in open source is to rip other people off. And so <laughs> I uh, did that again with uh, Sway by building something which was backwards compatible with i3 so mm -hmm. that I could play with Wayland, but that my workflow uh, that I got used to using on i3 would not have to change. And is it using then the i3 configuration files? Yes, it reads the configuration files that i3 uh, is used with um, and supports something like 97% of i3 features. And I'm familiar with older X11 window managers that I could program, I think one I could program in Lisp or something to move things around, and another I could program in uh, some other languages, but it's, it's sort of like you want some smarts in those configuration files, right? Because you want to have rules that you could basically act upon under certain conditions, right? Well, different window managers behave differently. So um, one window manager, for example, or one Wayland compositor um, that I work on through the WRS project uh, is called Waymonad, made by my friend um, Onji. And Waymonad is configured in Haskell. And so you can get very flexible with that. But Sway is a little bit more moderate. So Sway provides, um, for example, different layouts for how to arrange things on your screen out of the box. And the configuration file lets you customize a whole lot of the functionality, but you're not actually writing code. That being said, um, Sway has inter-process communication. There's a Unix socket you can talk to, which is compatible with the i3 IPC protocol. And you can write scripts that uh, let you extend it to be even more powerful. So uh, you can make a Turing complete then? Well, you can use the Turing complete programming language to control Sway. OK, OK, all right. Well, as long as I can eventually get my towers of Hanoi on there somewhere, that's probably all I really care oh, about that. Possibly, yeah. Yeah, good. So, um, so how, how, how is, Wayland, um, uh, is Wayland taking over X11 in general? I would say very slowly, yes. Um, <laughs> the, the thing is that. Sorry. A lot of X11 has a lot of momentum, and there are a lot of hacks and cool things that you can do on top of X11. And because Wayland is starting from scratch, um, a lot of those things don't come for free. So some people are switching to use Wayland as their daily driver, but other people have um, things which are holding them back, like certain softwares that they're used to, which have no equivalent on Wayland yet. So I think Sway uh, or Wayland will only take over once all of those use cases are fulfilled. 